Welcome to Vote By Our Secret Weapon. I'm your host, Captain Matt. And today we're talking about ordered votes. So many votes are being ordered right now. And there's a lot of confusion about why is my vote taking so long? How does the process work? How did this person get their vote quicker than we did? We ordered it before they did and they got their vote quicker. I'm hearing online somebody saying that, hey, they just ordered it and four weeks later they got their vote and mine's on its fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth week. And I ordered it a while back. So we're going to talk about that process just at a high level, and I'm going to share some things that you probably don't know about how it works. So let's take a look. When you're building a boat, they have lines. So it, they may have a huge factory that has one line, two, three, four lines that are running boats down them. Okay, so in a fiberglass manufacturing plant, they've got the deck and the hull running down together. In a pontoon plant, they've got their tunes built in one area but the boats are going down another line where they do the furniture, the rigging, the lights, all of that stuff. So that's the basics, but this is the part that kind of sheds some light on why does it take so long? Well, every manufacturer has their lines and at the beginning of the year, they project what models of boats are gonna be ordered and they build out their build sheet for the full year and then they adjust it month by month, quarter by quarter, based on what the market is doing. So what they may do is they may say, okay, we have got on line A, we're going to be running our sun decks through our deck boat. So this is a sea ray example. So in block of time one, we're going to build 10 240 sun decks. In block of time two, we're going to build 10 220 sun decks. In block of time three, we're going to build 10 220 sun decks. In block of time four, we're going to build 10 260 sun decks. Block of five time, 280 sun decks. Block of time six, eight 300 sun decks because they're a little bit bigger. We can't build them as quickly. And then block seven, block eight. So that block of time may be a week, a month, 10 days. It, it, it doesn't really matter, but just know it's a block of time. In line B, they're going to build their cruisers. So the 260, 280, 240 sun dancers. In line C, they're building their SLXs, so their, their bow rider series. They may be able to do eight 250 SLXs, 10 230 SLXs, eight 270s, six 300s in that block of time. And in line D, they run their bigger cruisers. They can build three 350 Sundancers, three 370 Sundancers, and on down the line. Now, if you're a pontoon manufacturer, they, their lines are going to be done um, similarly, um, where they've got, okay, for Harris, they've got their Sunliners, their Solstice line, their Grand Mariner line, and their Cruiser line, okay? And they're going to have a certain amount of time that it takes for that block of time and a certain number of boats they can build in that time. Now, during the build process in the fiberglass world, they've got to first, they've got to build their whole of their decks and maybe their, their um, liner if they're a three-piece construction. So that's the first thing that has to happen. They can build those, those holes and just kind of set them aside until they're ready to go down the line, although they take up a lot of space, a lot of space. They have their wiring department where they're wiring harnesses, where they're going to have all of the wiring put together so they can just lay those harnesses in the boat when they put them together. They may have another department that is sewing and furniture if they build their own furniture. Um, some of them will buy it from a, a third party vendor. Others will build it in house. And then in the fiberglass world, you've got your small parts department where they're gonna spray and gel coat, uh, you know, usually a closed molding type system, their hatches, their anchor anchor covers, um, their ski locker covers, the you know, all of those little doors and little pieces that um, aren't in the mold of the boat, but need to be need to be uh, in the construction. They build all those. In the pontoon world, they've got their welding department where they're gonna weld all of the tunes together. They've got a helm department where they're going to maybe build out all the helms. Maybe they even build the helms themselves, or they could order those from a third party, but they put the gauges, they put all of the equipment on those helms. So all they've got to do is be plugged into the wiring harnesses, um, and now that's ready to, to be put on the boat, and they do it kind of modular. Same thing with the fencing. They've got a fence rail department where they're bending all the fencing, um, getting it all together, and they're just stacking it up. So when it's ready to go down the line, They've got everything they need pre-constructed, and now it's just an assembly line, okay? So they're putting it together. So all of these things are happening to build the boat. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Here's why there's a difference between how quickly builder or how quickly dealer A can get a boat and dealer B can get a boat. So 
at the beginning of the year, the dealers say, I would like, or that's what it is nowadays. In older times, it was, you know, five years ago, it was, I'm going to commit to buy this many boats. And in that, let's say it's 100 boats from this manufacturer. I'm going to buy 20 of these boats, 30 of these boats, two of these boats, five of these boats, and seven of these boats. And it's going to equal that, their commitment for the year. The manufacturer gets all of the commitments in from all the dealers, and they say, okay, we can build because we know what our, our schedule looks like. We can get 10 boats of this every block of time, and now we're going to allocate, and they start putting dealers into blocks. So this is block one, and they say, okay, we can build 10 240 sun decks in block one. So we're going to give dealer one, we're going to give them two spots. Dealer two gets one spot. Dealer three gets two spots, dealer four gets one, five gets one, six gets one, seven gets one, and eight gets one, okay? On the Sundancers, dealer one gets one and down the line. SLXs, dealer one gets this many, they get two spots, dealer two's got one spot, dealer three's got two spots, and down the line, same thing with the Sundancers, okay? So that all happens in the logistics part of it, the, okay? We've got these orders, we've got these production spots, let's put them together so we know what boats are going where, okay? Now, let's say that you order, you want a 240 sun deck. They don't have one, you've got to order it. Well now, dealer one, if you order from dealer one, well they've sold three of their 240 sun deck slots. So they may not have in block one, they may not have any more production slots available. If you, but if you bought a boat from dealer six or dealer two, you would get in that production run and your boat would show up, show up sooner. Now, here's what happens behind the scenes, though. If I'm dealer one and I've got all of my slots sold, what I may do is I may call dealer six or dealer two and say, hey, listen, can I get your 240 production spot in this block of time? And I will then give you one of our 250 SLX slots if you need it. And they'll do some horse trade, some swapping. Or they may just say, dealer six may say, you know what, listen, I don't know that we're going to sell a 240 Sun Deck. So I'm just going to give you my spot. Maybe it's wheeling and dealing, but they're trading spots. All these dealers know each other, the owners do. And they have their friends and they, you know, are typically friendly, even though if they're close in the area, they may cross sell and they may sell into somebody's territory hurt some feelings, and then guess what? Now I'm not going to give you my production spot, but on the flip side, when you need it, they may not give it to you. So it's a, it's a give and take in the relationship. So that's sort of what's happening when it comes to, all right, this is, I ordered a boat and they're telling me six to eight weeks. And then it takes 12 weeks. Well, maybe they didn't have a production spot and somebody else sold a boat. They didn't know about it and, or, you know, the, the manufacturers and nowadays, they may have all of their logistics, but they don't have that one component to complete the 240 sun decks. And now it throws everything off because now the production line isn't as efficient. And instead of building the 200 boats that they thought they could, they can only get out 150 because of, of issues getting the boats built. So when it comes to the time frame, it's going to really be dependent on when it's ordered and what the dealer already has committed to and already on the book sold. The other thing that can happen is maybe you just, you know, if you're looking at a 27 grand Mariner and they're only building six at a time, well, they don't think they're going to build that many 270 grand Mariners because it's a, a bigger boat. They're, that production line takes, that production takes a little bit longer and you may have several blocks of time between one build and the other because they can't be switching, you know, they can't be building this boat, then that boat, then this boat. They send them all down the line at the same time. We're going to build a chunk of 10 of them or whatever that number is so that they can be as efficient as possible. And they get all of the 24 foot tubes. They get all of the 24 foot plywood. They get all of the furniture for the 24 footers. They get all of the right helms for the Grand Mariners, all of the right seating for the Grand Mariners, all of the right flooring lined up, all of the right equipment and components. And they can put all those together and they can be a little bit more efficient. So here's why it's so complicated. This is 500 boats, okay? They have got to fill out every one of these boxes and every one of these boxes is assigned to a boat model and the dealer and the time frame. I don't have three hands, so 
boat model, dealer, time frame. They adjust this on a periodic basis every quarter, every couple of months in the busy build season. But right now it's so many, so many ordered boats and they're, they're sold boats. Some of them are up to July, August, September from my conversations at the boat show. So you can see now the line, the dealer, and now you've got to match them all up. They try to put sold boats at the beginning of the process. So if you're a sold boat and it's got a named customer to it, they go to the front of the line versus a, a dealer's inventory boat. But right now there's so few inventory boats being built that you know there, you can skip ahead of the line, but you're still three months out, six months out. So I wanted to share that with you because I, I think it's a, especially right now, it's something that not a lot of people understand it. Hopefully that gives you a better picture. Ask me the questions in the comments because I want to dive into this topic a little bit more and, and maybe go down into some rabbit holes, maybe visit some manufacturers. So throw your questions in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, if you're looking to buy a boat, grab the toolkit for sure. We've got our new boaters boot camp coming out. If you're a new boat owner or a newer boat owner in the last two, three years, go to that boaters boot camp. It's boaters boot camp dot our boater bootcamp.com and you can get that for free it's a three-part series um that, that it's, it's going to be super valuable i'm really proud of it and that should be available in the next week or so thanks a lot remember life truly is better on a boat